Hi, Riley. Welcome to Cincinnati. Um, can you give us details about the team's recruitment pitch to you and what made the Bengals the right team for you? Yeah, they, uh, it was great. Um, everybody here was uh, open, friendly, you know, uh, really the direction this team was heading. Had a great dinner with Joe and uh, Sam Hubbard last night. So it's been great so far. Happy to be a Bengal. Did they say you were going to play uh, right tackle or left tackle? Yeah, right tackle. Right tackle. Talk about the opportunity to, to play with Joe Burrow in the sense of here's a guy that many people think is going to be one of the next great ones and uh, to have the opportunity to protect him. Yeah, I, I'm super excited. You know, went out to eat with him last night, had a good steak, and uh, I walked away from uh, eating that steak, and I was like, I want to play play block for this guy. I mean, <laughs> he's uh, seen him um, on, on the film, but he's even better off the field. Thank you. Riley, a Ben Baby with ESPN here. Um, good to meet you. You know, you know, you said you walked away wanting to play for him after a meal. What, what about that conversation with Joe kind of gave you that feeling? I mean, just the way he conducts himself, carries himself, um, seems like a down-to-earth uh, uh, Cincinnati-type guy. Um, you know, we just sat there, shot, you know, crapped around a little bit. Um, but, no, uh, really impressed with him. You, you said Cincinnati-type guy. What, is, what does that mean in your mind? Tough, Midwestern. Blue collar, comes to work. Did you get the sense of why the Bengals wanted to add a, an offensive tackle like yourself? Yeah, I think I, I, I fit what they're trying to do around here. Uh, you know, um, since I walked in the building, uh, you could just tell they want to bring in good people, uh, hard-nosed, willing to work, and uh, win a lot of football games. You guys cut me uh, cut me off already. <laughs> hey, uh, no, no, Riley, no. how you doing? Uh, Jeff Hobson with Bengals.com. Welcome to town. Hey, thanks. Uh, just wanted to get your sense of uh, how much you've talked to Pollock, uh, what you know of Pollock uh, and his system, and uh, what is your uh, vibe with him? Yeah, it's been great. Uh, met Frank uh, on the phone for the first time. Uh, had a few buddies that have played for him. All good things. Uh, you know, I'm excited. Uh, the scheme they run, we uh, we talked uh, scheme a little bit. And, uh, you know, I, I think I fit that scheme. And uh, I'm excited to work for him. What do you know about Jonah Williams? I, I know he's uh, he's similar to me, uh, hard worker, quiet. I know he's a really good player. And uh, I'm excited to meet him. You played both in, both ways in high school. You're, you're a pretty athletic guy, tight end and defensive end and uh your skill set is very good to play in defensive and really help make you a better offensive lineman I, I would attribute that to wrestling more than defensive end I went to Iowa <laughs> I only lasted a week at defensive end. <laughs> <laughs> they, they they kicked me out of there and told me I had to move to the off offensive <laughs> line but it worked out for the best you know, why do you think Iowa's, you know, been, Iowa's put out a ton of uh, your pro style guys, you know, guys in the trenches, specifically on the offensive line. What is it about Iowa that, that produces a lot of offensive tackles? Um, and, and is it is it kind of a scheme thing or is it something that a lot of guys know that there's a type of style that Iowa is going to be good for that? Why has that been the case? Yeah, they, they, they know what kind of guys they want to bring in and build up, uh, you know, athletically, um, guys that can move, bend. Um, then Coach Ferentz. I mean, Coach Ferentz, you know, we, they have an offensive line coach, but, I mean, he puts his thumb over the offensive line, and uh, he really does a good job on technique and hammering it. I mean, we they work at it over there, so. Riley, I know you mentioned right tackle. Did potentially playing guard at all in the future, did that come up at all in your meeting with the with the team? Yeah, I, did, I told him I'd play wherever. Um, you know, I'm open to anything. I'm just here to protect Joe and uh, win a lot of football games. I played guard in college. Uh, mm -hmm. Like I said, wherever they ask me to play, I'll step in and play. Riley Paul Daner with the Athletic. How aggressive was the Bengals' pursuit of you before you even got here? Were they? Was it a thing where the news was out and your agents like, "Look, the Bengals were already on the phone," or how did that go before you even came here? Yeah, they. Uh, my agent reached out to me. He's like, "These guys are being pretty persistent. You know, would you like to go see what they're all about?" And I said, "Absolutely." Uh, 
no, not being in uh, this division or we don't really didn't have much crossover. But once I got here, I was super impressed with the guys, the coaches and uh, man, I'm excited. What was the importance for you of taking a visit? Was that something that you really wanted to do? Obviously, you don't see a lot of that uh, anymore. Yeah, no, uh, tell you the truth. I, <laughs> if, it, if it didn't work out, I just wanted to see the stadium. I've never played here. It's one of the stadiums, you know, nine, 10 years, you know, you usually play in a lot of stadiums. I hadn't played here. So <laughs> if all else kept, uh, went to fail, I mean, at least I could say I seen the stadium. <laughs> Did you know after, because I mean, they you kind of went overnight, did you know last night after dinner that you were going to sign here? Or was this, was it one of those kind of sleep on it things and, and decide this morning? Yeah, there, there was some business doing. I, I wanted to right after the, got to meet some of the guys, Joe, Sam. I mean, I feel like I fit right in here. I, there's business to it too, but yeah. Did you get the sense they were not going to let you leave town without making <laughs> yeah. this happen? There was one coach here that said he wasn't going to let me leave town. I don't know if, I don't know if he could have stopped me, but yeah. <laughs> Do you play with a former Cincinnati and a Kyle Rudolph? Uh, you had a chance to talk with him about uh, the city. Did he give you any kind of impressions? Kyle was the first one to reach out to me. Um, Kyle is one of my favorite human beings, uh, greatest teammate, one of the greatest teammates I've ever played with. Uh, love him and his family. And uh, yeah, I mean, everywhere I go around here, people talk about Kyle Rudolph. I mean, that's what kind of guy he is. Um, he's texted me, said, uh, hey, you need anything, reach out to me. So appreciate him. Thanks. Which which coach was the one that said he wasn't, he was gonna let you leave without signing? <laughs> I'll leave that one. Uh, there was one, I, I'm not gonna, you can figure that one out. Were there any fans at dinner coming up and, and trying to add to the recruiting? No, there. Uh, Jeff, Jeff tried to help with the recruiting. He gave me a cigar, <laughs> one of his personal cigars. He said uh, he said he'd give me another box if I actually did sign. So we'll see. <laughs> How much did you get the sense that offensive line as a whole was a real priority for the Bengals this offseason? Yeah, just just the way they. Uh, I mean, you look at their foundation right now. Uh, you know, with the quarterback, um, you know, I, I assume he'll be around here for 10, 20 years, you know, yeah, it's important to, you know, protect him right now. Riley, this will be year 10 for you, which is a hell of a thing. How have you lasted a decade in the NFL and, and what makes you want to keep going? Yeah, I mean, I, I think I, I can attribute that to my coaches uh, along the way and, uh, you know, everywhere from the medical staff to the strength coaches and, uh, just evolving as a person as and a player. You have a brother who's quite the athlete as well. Uh, uh, is, does he have aspirations like you? And then what are your conversations like now that you're a Bengal? Yeah, no, he's uh, he's done with the football aspect of it. Um, he's selling selling tires now for uh, Firestone. Um, talked to him last week, ran into him last week. Uh, COVID kind of, he was probably an undrafted guy, um, maybe a rookie mini camp tryout guy. And uh, COVID kind of acts that, but uh, you know, he's moving on, he's happy. Uh, so yeah. It's likely to be a pretty young group up front uh, to go with you. Did they talk about that at all in, in trying to bring you in to, to give the team a veteran leader up front? Yeah, I mean, I mean, obviously, when you're in year ten, you, you they expect you to bring a little bit more than your play, uh, you know, guidance, uh, being around. Um, you know, I'm excited to get in that room. I've met Trey. Uh, Trey was around here. I'm excited to meet the guys and uh, hang out. Any more questions for Riley? Yeah, one last question, Riley. You played for a coach who was here in Cincinnati, uh, Coach Zimmer and uh, just a tough nosed guy to describe playing for a guy like that. I love Zimmer. Uh, I mean, he's my type of guy, hard nosed. Uh, he might, might've said some bad words to me a few times, you know, <laughs> cussed me out a few times, but uh, I loved him. Um, great things to say about him. I mean, even walk around this building, people here, and you know, he still left an impact on him too. Thank which you. Play, which player gave the best recruiting pitch yesterday at dinner? 
they were they were all good uh <laughs> yeah no the the steak last night it was a good recruiting pitch too it was a great steak <laughs>